two minutes till it starts. Got to give the YouTube servers a couple of minutes to send out late notifications. Sometimes they'll send out notifications earlier when I schedule a stream, and then sometimes they'll wait till right when the stream starts to send out notifications. So we'll give it a couple of minutes for the late notifications to get sent out. I see I got two people watching right now. One of them's me. For some reason it counts me. And somebody else. Ah, Uncle Josh is in. Thomas is in. Well, for one time it's not counting me. It's just counting Josh and Thomas. How y'all doing this evening? Or this afternoon or whatever it is. To me, it's afternoon until it starts getting dusk, regardless of how the time works out. Hey, Mary Grace. How you doing up there in New York? What kind of weather y'all having? You and Thomas still in the cold? We had two chilly nights here. Oh, God, what's this? Sunday night, Saturday night. Wednesday and Thursday or Thursday and Friday got down in the 30s, man. Pop back up in the 40s for a night, and now last night I think was 50 was the low. Shane is in the house. Wanda's in the house. Folks are coming on in. 65 and windy. Well, that's about what it is here. I don't think it's quite 65, Thomas, but it was nice and quiet. Bad, bad storms forecast for later on this evening. Supposed to have started about noon, and it keeps getting pushed back. And looking at the, looking at the radar, we're not going to get hammered. Uh, the forecast is we're going to get hammered, but I think it's just barely going to skim past us. Let's see. <coughs> 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 I don't need to start that right at the start of this thing. <coughs> if it makes duplicate comments, it makes them, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Actually, if YouTube sees them as two separate comments, that's more engagement with the audience. Hey, June, how are you doing? Well, let's see. Snow. Where are you, Josh? You told me, and I forgot. I have an absolutely horrendous memory. Y'all already know that. Oh, man. Well, at 6 o'clock, we've got several in here. So, that's right, New Mexico, because I asked you if you knew or if you watched uh, Out West Homestead. That's right. I have a bad memory, but when you jog my memory, it brings things back. Lynn is in the house. How are you doing, Lynn? You're here, but not. Going out to pick up, pick mustard greens. Cool. Okay. We're now a little bit, two minutes past when we're supposed to start. So, first thing I'm going to do is Wish y'all a happy Easter. I hope everybody had a fantastic Easter. It's a little bit of a weird Easter. Everybody goes to church two days a year if they don't go anytime else. They go to Christmas Eve service and they go on Easter. And not many folks were able to go to church this year. So it's been a bit of an odd Easter. And uh, since it's Easter, Y'all are going to have to listen to this twice, once at the first and once at the end of the video. 
it's Easter, people. The tomb was empty, and he is alive. Now, uh, title of the video, What Did You Not Want But Now Miss? We're all pretty much locked in our houses. Uh, some of us because we're obeying the government. And some of us because... You know, we didn't change much around here. Cindy and Sarah still go to work. I never go anywhere. Um, I go to doctor's appointments. I go to the grocery store. Uh, till I get rid got rid of the pigs, I went to the feed store every week. But I really didn't go much. I, why should I leave? I like it here. Um... So this hadn't been much of a change for me. But you know what? I'm going to start this off. I'll, I'll, ah, Dave and Darcy are in the house. I'm going to start this off. What did I not want but miss? And besides Easter service on Easter, there's things that I never really wanted or wanted to do that all of a sudden that I can't, I want to. Um, I don't think I've been to a Major League Baseball game since the mid-90s. I lost interest in the Atlanta Braves when they got rid of John Smoltz, when Bobby Cox retired as manager, when Tom Glavin wasn't on the mound. Um, that's about the last time I was interested in the Braves. And uh, I think in about 95 or 96 was the last time I went to a Braves game. Used to go to a lot of them. Used to go to about half the home games. Hadn't missed it until this year. Now, Major League Baseball's delayed or postponed or canceled. And much as I hate crowds, I find myself missing going to a Braves game. Now, is that weird or what? It's not that I don't like, okay, I've often said, y'all have heard me say, I don't like crowds. When you get down to it, it's not the crowds that bother me. Uh, if I could snap my fingers and be sitting in my seat in the stadium, I'd probably go to a lot of games. But I can't do that. I've got to drive there, I've got to park. Unless you want to pay a small fortune to park, you've got to park like in the other county and got a long walk to the stadium. Hey, Drifter's in the house. I just noticed he came in. Um, it's all that getting there that I didn't like and tolerated, and I've just gotten where I don't tolerate it anymore. Um, so I hadn't, I hadn't been to a Braves game and had missed going to a Braves game until this year. Darned if I don't want to go to a Braves game. Um, it's weird. I'm one of those people that, you know, tell me I can't do something. That's the best way you can guarantee that I will. And I think that I've got a little bit of that personality trait about me is what's got me wanting to go to a Braves game simply because I can't. How about y'all? What is this lockdown, lock-in, social distancing thing? What is it you really never wanted? But now that you can't have it, you want it. Kind of like me and going to a Braves game. Just human nature. I'll bet there's some of you out there that there's several things. Let me catch up with the comments, so I, the chat, so I don't miss anybody oh me Darn. getting a little bit of a crowd in here Ha, 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 ha. 
Yeah, Detroit teams, uh, nobody watches them. Yeah, I, I think if the Detroit players' mamas were at home watching baseball, they'd be watching a different game than the Detroit team. Let's see. <laughs> Thomas, you think that'd work? I can't come, so I will. I ain't going nowhere till we get all this little surgery deal straightened out. Okay, Nona Grace had to switch to her iPod, iPad, so we're going to be getting double comments. That'll work. Improves my stat my analytics so nobody else is missing anything things you normally don't I don't mean missing stuff you do I don't mean if you normally went to Cracker Barrel for breakfast every Sunday morning now that you can't you miss it I'm not talking about stuff like that I'm talking about stuff that you couldn't have cared less about, like me and the Braves games. Is there anything out there that you really, so what, until now, now you want to do it, other than Easter morning church services? Because I'll tell you what, I'm, I, I hate to admit this, and I'm not going to get into Easter a whole lot in this video, because I've preached to y'all enough, but I never have been the best churchgoer in my life. Um, I think the last time I was sitting in church for an Easter service was about the last time I was at a Braves game, somewhere in the mid-90s. Um, I just never have felt the urge to go to... I never have felt like I needed to be in church on Easter because I just figure I can talk to God and thank him for his son anytime I want to. Don't need to be in church to do it. So I hadn't been the best at going to Easter services or going to church at all for that matter. Um, but now that I can't, I really, really wanted to be in church this morning. But besides, besides missing Easter services, what is it that y'all just couldn't care less about until now and now you want to do it? Let's see. Oh, Dave and Darcy lost a goat. That is sad. Ah, not only is Mary Grace watching, Jim's in here too. June, I know what you mean. Um, my father-in-law is 81 years old. And we usually go over there every two or three weeks. Um, I'm afraid to go over there. I'm not sick. Sarah's not sick. Cindy's not sick. But uh, Cindy and Sarah do work retail. Sarah works in the deli at a supermarket chain around here called Ingalls. And Cindy works at Walmart. And people are still being crazy. And I wouldn't, as much as I like my father in law, I, it took me three tries, but I finally got some good in laws. Uh, my mother and father in law, until Francis died last year, and now my father in law. I got the best in-laws in the world, and I'd love to go see him. I'm afraid to. I, I wouldn't want to make him sick. Let's see. Josh, yours are Liberties? I wear Liberties. I don't know if you can see the tag. Let's see if I can get it up there. Right there. I wear Liberties. I got some friends that they think they're as redneck as I am. They wear overalls, 
But there's a Carhartt. They got that fancy little Carhartt sticker on there. And I, told, I tell them, that's like, hey, if you're wearing something Carhartt, you're just pretending. <laughs> now, I probably just offended Josh because he's probably got on Carhartt. Let's see. Ah, Josh is wearing liberties. Good. If you ain't wearing liberties, you're not wearing coveralls. Or overalls. I've got... Now, I do have some insulated overalls. Um, I didn't get coveralls, you know, the whole, like a union suit, but insulated, I didn't get that because I can't get them on and off. You have to fight your way in and fight your way out, especially fighting your way out. So I got insulated bib overalls, and those are, they look like Carhartts. Looks like I got a pair of fancy ones, but if you look at the tag, it's not Carhartt, although it's made in the same factory, it's the exact same thing. It just happens to say walls on it. W-A-L-L-S, that brand is Walmart, and they're just as good as Carhartt and cost half as much. But when I'm wearing just denim overalls in the summertime, it's always Liberties. Let's see. June, yeah, we're right on the edge over here. I was looking at the radar. I've been looking at it all afternoon. I wasn't even sure this live stream was going to happen. But... Uh, Y'all are, we're on the very edge of some really nasty stuff. And when I say on the edge, I'm talking about the line is between you and us. June lives about 40 miles west of me. And uh, this stuff's coming up out of the Gulf and headed northeasterly. And if it took its normal track, it'd be getting us too. And it had a little bit of rain. But um, it's going a little bit more north than east. And from what it looked like, looking like where the, what the track was going to be, June's going to get hammered over there, and we're just going to get the edges of it. Now, if, this, if I have to shut this thing down in the middle, that's why. We've got some bad, bad weather that's going to be missing us by a tiny little bit. But you all know I live in a yurt. I'm going to tell you right now, hard rain on a yurt. It's like hard rain on a tin roof. You can't hear yourself thinking here. So if it does start raining real hard during this show, y'all wouldn't be able to hear me anyway. So I'll probably be shutting it down if, if I hear it getting so loud that it's just hopeless trying to continue. Let's see. 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. Uh, Don, yeah, you're hearing just a little patter of rain. Not much yet, and I hope it stays like that since we're right on the edge. Because, like I just said, if it seriously starts raining, I'm this far, I'm an arm's length from the camera and the microphone. And if it starts raining hard, y'all won't be able to hear a darn thing. 102 now in Brownsville? Holy cow in mid-april darn yeah that stuff that's coming up this way that's uh, uh, gonna gonna get June pretty bad over there that I hope is gonna just barely miss us. Uh, I think that just came through where y'all are. I think it's coming here from just about where y'all are, Dave and Darcy. Shane, are you still in here? You got quiet. You aren't saying, I, I forget. You're, 
you're probably on your way to Florida. So it's not like you can put get into chat very easily. By the way, folks, y'all need to go to Shane's channel tomorrow. Uh, having a brain fart. Yeah, there we go. Kinfolk Pharma, Georgia. I can't believe I couldn't remember that, Shane. Having a total brain fart. Shane's going to tell me, he texted me uh, a while ago today. And said he's going to have a video up tomorrow. It's going to have three new pigs in it. And those pigs, they weren't born here. But y'all remember that video that I did a oh, month and a half ago? Something like that, a month and a half, two months ago? The three sows that the guy's babysitting for me up in Blairsville. And he picked them up on a Saturday. And Monday he had a litter. Shane picked up his pigs. He's got three of them now. And uh, he says there'll be a video out tomorrow showing those pigs. Lynn, you're efficient. It wasn't 10 minutes ago. You were just going out to get the greens and you got them on the stove cooking already. Ooh, you're efficient. I ain't going to say it. I'm not. Yeah, I am. You make somebody a good wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to say that. Uh, hey, Lily, how you doing? You having a good Easter, Lily? Having a good Easter, Lily. Maybe so it doesn't sound like I'm trying to be funny. Lily, are you having a good Easter? That sounds better. Oh, me. I'm not going to touch that one, Lynn. I like mustard greens. I like collard greens. I like them mixed. I like them by themselves. I like uh, spinach. When I was little, my favorite cartoon. Now, most of y'all in here, I don't think any of y'all are like 20-year-olds or 25-year-olds. Um, if Shane's son-in-law comes in, he's, he's a youngster. And, uh, but most of y'all remember back when cartoons were on TV, Popeye, he was my favorite cartoon, Popeye. And I got to putting in one day, we were at my grandparents' house in Memphis, Tennessee. That's where I'm actually from. I've never lived in Memphis, but I got to say I'm from Memphis because my mom and dad both from Memphis. And... Then Dad spent 26 years in the Air Force. After they left, never went back. That's where all the family was. So we were visiting one time my grandparents. And I got it in my head, I wanted to do like Papa. You know, whenever he was in trouble, he'd get a can of spinach, he'd squeeze it open, and it'd pop open, and he'd take the whole can and dump it down. And you'd see it run out, and it'd make his muscles real big. And I'm going to go, Well, I decided I wanted to do that. And my grandfather, I could do anything I wanted to. I wasn't a bad little kid, but my grandfather was a typical grandfather. He was he was strict on his kids and <laughs> his grandkids, especially me, since he didn't see us very often because Dad was in the service. Um, when I decided I wanted to be Papa, he decided he'd go to the store and get a can of spinach. Now, canned spinach is nasty stuff. But back then... That's what you got. Grocery stores didn't have the produce that they have today. So he went to the store and got a can of spinach. He got back and I grabbed that thing and I was trying to squeeze it open like Popeye did. And uh, he said, Bob, you got Bobby. And he called me Bobby. Um, don't everybody, don't, don't, don't even start calling me Bobby. Um, the last person that was allowed to call me Bobby was my Aunt Jean, and she died about four or five months ago. Died a little, uh, just before Christmas. Uh, 
I've been Bob since I was about 11, 12 years old. But anyway, he said, Bobby, you ain't going to be able to squeeze that can open. Let me help you. He opened the can, took me out on the back porch. Old-fashioned house. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Pretty much a straight house. You walk in the door, you're in the living room. There's a bedroom off to the side. And then the dining room and then the kitchen and then a bathroom and then two more bedrooms and then back laundry storage area and then go out the back door in the yard. He took me out there on the steps, opened the can and handed it to me. <laughs> and I like to have drowned because I turned that thing up. I was going to be like Papa. And uh, I turned that can up and got a, got all of it. Decided I couldn't do like Papa, but I sure tried that. How did I get off on? Oh, yeah, talking about spinach. Any greens, any dark greens especially, dark greens are a lot healthier than the light greens. Um, any greens I love. I, I like vegetables. Now, I'm a carnivore. I love meat. I love beef. I love pork. I like good chicken. The chicken from the store is not good chicken. I like good free-range chicken. Um, but I, I like my vegetables, especially dark greens. Let me catch up on the chat. I'll be right back. Uh, Popeye the Sailor Man. Yep. June, I don't know if that's on, is that generally all over YouTube or just on mine? Dave, I hope hope you get some good news tomorrow. Have the tests already be run, been run? Or are you going to the doctor tomorrow to get tests run to find out how much good, not if the treatments did any good? That's the wrong thing, Dave. You're going to the doctor to find out how much good the treatments did. Lynn... I'll take a serving of all of it except the black-eyed peas. And since I don't want the black-eyed peas, give me two pork chops instead of one, okay? I've never been real fond of black-eyed peas, even on New Year's Eve. Well, Shane can't see them either, so I guess it's just... I guess YouTube made another change. <coughs> On uh, the back end where you take care of your channel, all the analytics and everything, they had a survey. Filled it out yesterday. Want to know what you liked and what you didn't like about YouTube and the way it did creators. And that was one thing that I put in there that no notice. They just make changes without telling you. And I guess that's one of them, not being able to go from chat to a channel. I told them that their communication with the creators sucked. And that if it wasn't for the creators, there wouldn't be a YouTube. All of us could go find another company with, with computers to host this thing. YouTube is not what makes it. YouTube, the company, Google, is not what makes YouTube. It's the creators. And they don't pay attention to us. Just don't get me started on that. I'll be talking so bad, at them, bad about them, they'll take my channel down. Let's see. Good night, Josh. You have a fantastic day, okay? Lily, I don't actually dislike black eyed peas. I just never have developed a taste for them. And I think part of it's texture um, and part of it's flavor. I just, I don't dislike them. I just don't like them. It's not, if I went into a cafeteria, I wouldn't be asking for an order of black eyed peas. On the other hand, if Lennon fixed me that plate I just asked for, and, 
snapped her fingers and made it appear here in Jasper. And they were on the plate, I'd have eaten them. But this is not something I really have developed, ever developed a taste for. All right, I missed some. Oh, haven't been able to do it for a couple of weeks. I guess that's what Mary Grace is talking about. Hey, Kayla. How are you doing? How's things over in Chatsworth? Y'all getting wet over there? Yeah, June, your blood work's put off and my surgery's put off. Y'all realize tomorrow's the 13th. Tomorrow is the day my surgery was originally scheduled for. I don't know when it's going to happen. I won't say I don't know if it's going to happen. I know I know it's going to happen, but don't know when. They were supposed to have been talking last week about opening the hospital back up for surgeries. And uh, when I talked to my physicians, my when I talked to my surgeon's physician's assistant uh, Monday, she told me that they were hopefully going to make a decision by late in the week when to open surgeries back up. And I said, well, I hope y'all can get around to me fairly soon because you must have a pretty good list of them. And she said, Bob, you're number one on the list. When surgeries start back, you're going to be the first one. I'll be glad when that happens because I'll be honest with you, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Shane, that's how I feel about uh, fixing the pot of beans, uh, pinto beans, chopped up onion in it, and big old big old hunk of cornbread made in a nine made in a nine inch cast iron skillet, lots of butter for the cornbread. That's a meal. Now, you folks being southern, and I'm southern, okay. But I like a few things that are Yankee eating. I'll bet y'all like cornbread, just plain cornbread. I like my cornbread to be sweet. I, I put some, when I make cornbread, I put some sugar in it. Uh, when I've got some cracklings, I'll make crackling cornbread. That's good too. Um, and I have been known to chop up a jalapeno and put it in there. But I like my cornbread sweet. I put some, I put some sugar in it. Not sweet like a cake, but sweet cornbread. Um, I'll tell you something else I do with Yankees. It makes me, some people think I'm a Yankee. You put grits in front of me, a couple things that you need to do. I like cheese grits. And my idea of a fish fry is fried mullet or fried catfish and uh, coleslaw, cheese grits, and uh, hush puppies, and a slice of white bread. That's a good fish fry. Cheese grits I like. But if you're not going to put cheese in them, I'm going to make them yellow with butter, and then I'm going to sweeten them up with sugar. And everybody tells me that, yeah, that's eating grits like a Yankee. Let's see. Tom, you're smart aleck. That's <laughs> funny, Jim. Rebecca, didn't see you come in. Welcome. Don't be apologizing for being late. Oh, every time somebody misses that comes in here regular and Y'all are apologizing to me for missing. Y'all don't owe me coming and watching. Oh, y'all a huge thank you for coming. If her grandkids were here. You know what, Rebecca? Grandkids come ahead of watching Bob run off with the mouth. Grandkids come ahead of most things. All day off and on, Kayla. Well, it's been looking like rain all day, and it sprinkled a few times. It mostly quit until I started this. Now, now we're getting some sprinkles. I hope it doesn't get real loud. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Make it Lily younger. Uh, tell me about it, Lily. Make my grits with cheese and butter. Like everybody, <laughs> I know why nobody came up with what they miss because of what's going on and having to stay home. Because we don't do anything but stay home and eat good. You can tell that just about every okay, show of hands and be honest. These people in the chat right now. Any of y'all city folks, or is everybody truly country? I mean, it's a homesteading channel, but you can homestead in the city. I can show you some things to do where you're home. You're just as much a homesteader in the city. Homesteading's homesteading's not having an acre or two or three or four acres with some livestock. I mean, homesteaders do that. Homesteading is a state of mind. So, folks in the city can be homesteaders. Anyway, are there any city folks in here? Because so far, the way y'all are talking about food, I don't, I don't see any city folks. Now I asked y'all to, I asked y'all for a show of hands. If anybody was city folks. I'm a townie. Um, first time I ever lived in the country was when I bought this place in 2002. Until I was 10 years old, I was always living on Air Force bases in base housing. And from the time I was 10 until I was about 17, uh, 17 years old, lived in a motel that my parents built when my dad retired from the Air Force down in Valdosta, Georgia. And from the time I was 17 until about 22, I lived in the same town in a house after my mom sold the motel, except for a year I lived in Fort Lauderdale. I was a paramedic in Fort Lauderdale for a year. <coughs> Came back to Valdosta after that bad motorcycle wreck I've told y'all about. And uh, then from Valdosta, came up to Lawrenceville, Georgia, which is suburban Atlanta. And then in 2002, moved and bought this place and moved up here so don't go telling people just keep it to yourself it'll be a secret between y'all and me i'm a townie but i sure like living in the country <laughs> drift you're all over suburban country and desert Drifter, the only thing you need to add is go down to Costa Rica and add rainforest and then go to either the North Pole or the South Pole and add living in Arctic conditions and you'll have them all covered, I think. So you're staying at home and staying out of this mess, then. I go out some. But no more, no less than I did before. It's just that I never went anywhere before. Shane and June, y'all talking about cracklings. Now, I just fessed up to be in city. And y'all say you're a country. Do you make your own cracklings? I do. Do you make your own lard? I do. Lynn, <laughs> Lynn never thinks about going to the movies and now she wants to go to the movies. Which brings me to something I wanted to tell y'all about. Okay, another show of hands. How many of y'all watch Netflix? How many of y'all have a Netflix subscription? Tell me down here because I, I got something for you. Dave didn't know what a town was until he was 16.
Mary Grace, I'll tell you something similar to that. Um, when people want to know, want to look at their dirt and wonder if it's good dirt for growing stuff. And I'll tell you right now, dirt won't grow a thing. You can't grow nothing in dirt. Now, you play with that dirt for a couple of years and turn it into soil by doing the right things to it. Then you got something you can grow something in, but nothing grows in dirt. Okay. If you say they don't do Netflix, if you say you do, uh, I got a suggestion for you. Okay, I got a suggestion for you. I used to have a Netflix subscription till 2012, somewhere somewhere along 2012, 2013. Didn't use it much. And uh, I thought about getting it again here recently. But I read too much in the news about Netflix and the kind of programming they've got and yeah, they've got some good programming, but they've got some programming that Even if you don't watch it, if you've got Netflix, you're supporting it because you're paying Netflix That I just don't go along with Well, all of us watch YouTube and I don't know about y'all, but I get served up ads That are directed toward me and I was, for about the last month, I've been seeing an ad pretty, fairly regular for, uh, it's called Pure Flix. Not Netflix, but Pure Flix. I think that's what it's called, pureflix.com. Um, lots of movies, lots of really good movies. And uh, yesterday I subscribed. And it's got a seven-day free trial. And I, I am not, I don't have an affiliate with them. I don't make a penny off of this. I just found something that I like that I think y'all might like. Um, I subscribed, paid for a year. I can cancel it in the next week before next Sunday. But I've seen enough to know already I'm not going to cancel it. Um, first two movies I watched. And, and this is why I did the free trial. I, I'll be honest with you. I did the free trial because I saw two movies I wanted to see and I figured I could watch them and then if I didn't see much else that I was interested in, I could cancel it, but I'm not going to cancel it. First two movies I saw, first one I've known about and wanted to see and never did buy the DVD or the Blu-ray or none of that kind of crap, but I've been wanting to see it. And the second one's a sequel to it that I didn't even know existed until I was seeing on what they had to show on Pure Flix. And that was God's Not Dead and there is a God's Not Dead 2. Now, I've been wanting to see God's Not, Not Dead for a while. I just never got around to buying the DVD. Folks, that's an awesome movie. <coughs> God's Not Dead is an awesome movie. And God's Not Dead 2 is an awesome movie. And then I, I, four hours yesterday, boom, right on through it. And uh, then I, I watched another one last night. I watched a third movie yesterday. Uh, I was up fairly early this morning, and before I went to church online, I couldn't go to, that's funny. I, I hadn't been to Easter church on Easter in years and years and years, but today I, I just, I really wanted to go to church. Well, couldn't go to church, but I could go online. <coughs> but I was up early enough, and Cindy worked till 11 last night, so she was sleeping late. While well, I was waiting on <coughs> the live stream for my church to start, I watched another movie, and I won't be canceling Pure Flix. They have got some absolutely killer content funny they got comedy they've got old westerns old john wayne movies hey, 
do they have as much stuff as Netflix? No. Will they eventually? Yeah. Netflix didn't have as much as they've got when they first started. And Pureflix didn't, I don't think it's but about a year, year and a half old. It's really good. Uh, pay for a year. It's like $12.95 a month to pay it by the month. But if you pay for a year, it figures to seven dollars, seven dollars and fifty cents, something like that. Eighty-four, I think it was eighty-four dollars total for the year, and that's a chunk out of our budget. I mean, I gotta think before I spend eighty-four dollars, but uh, it's well worth it. So, y'all want something that's good, wholesome family stuff that you can watch and not have to worry if your kid walks into the room? I recommend it. Now, what have I missed? Uh, First, there was a bunch that had Netflix. Now, there's a bunch that don't. Um, yeah, with you, Thomas. I've, I've got Amazon Prime, so I've got movies there, too. You know, every time I want to see a movie on Amazon Prime, they don't have the movie I'm looking for. Um, they God's Not Dead is not on Amazon Prime. My favorite movie of all time, the movie that I have seen over a 100 times, and if it was on... Pure Flix or Amazon Prime, I'd watch it again as soon as this live stream's over, is uh, Top Gun. Not on Amazon Prime. Uh, have any of y'all seen the movie Always with uh, John Goodman, Richard Dreyfuss, and Holly Hunter? That's an awesome movie. It's not on Amazon Prime. <coughs> it's tickling my throat. It's about to drive me nuts. Yeah, Lynn, you could hear the rain before, but you can't hear it now. It's quit. Dave and Darcy have Pure Flix. Cool. It is really, really, really good. June, it's pureflix.com. P-U-R-E-F-L-I-X dot com, I believe. Um, I'll stick it down in the description after after this live stream finishes <coughs> processing and where I can actually go in and put the description back in. I'll stick it down there. But I think it's pureflix.com. David, it's it's a Christian platform. There's a lot of faith-oriented movies, but there's a lot of stuff that's not Christian. It's just not the filth you see. It's like going. It's like a lot of it's like going to the movies back in the fifties and sixties. Uh, when I say in the fifties and sixties, I'm not talking about. I think it was the late sixties. I'm not talking about Fritz the Cat. Did anybody see that cartoon? By the way. That was hilarious, but it sure wouldn't be on Pure Flix. Um, cartoon movie, Fritz the Cat. Uh, but it's got just good wholesome stuff. It's got some. It's got a couple of Shirley Temple movies that I've seen on there. Like I said, it's got some John Wayne. It's not all Christian oriented. It's just all family friendly, safe stuff. Which is what I like to watch anyway. All right, Dave. About to get nailed again. Well, I hope it stays a little bit west of us. Well, I wish it'd stay a lot west of us for June's sake, but uh, I think I think the line, we're going to get a little bit of rain here, a little bit more rain than we've gotten so far. I think the line between the nasty, nasty stuff and just some rain is between me and June. I think she's going to be getting it, but I'm not. And I don't know why my phone's making noises when I'm doing a live stream. I'm supposed to have that shut off where it won't do it. Kayla, how, if you're still in here, how about you? Are you y'all y'all? You said y'all were getting rain all day. Have y'all gotten any really nasty stuff, or is it just 
regular rain. Wind's starting to pick up some here. It's not going to get real bad, I don't think. It's supposed to get... Lily, refresh my memory. I need to do like Nona Grace does. And like Darcy does over at Two Seaters. Keep a pad and write down. Nona's got a list of every channel she watches. Everybody she talks to, she's got a spiral notebook and she alphabetizes it, I think. And she can, she'll see a, like, a, she'll go to Two Seaters Micro Farm. His name's Shane. She's got a list of all that. Darcy keeps a list of everybody they talk to on their live streams. Not, well, I guess I'm going to have to do that. But anyway, that's leading to the question. Uh... Central North Carolina. Okay. Uh, Shane, I beg to disagree with you. Um, I moved to Valdosta in 1964. I spent a year when I was 19 years old in Fort Lauderdale as a paramedic. And other than that, I lived in Valdosta from 64 until 1985 when I moved to suburban Atlanta, to Lawrenceville. I never found anything beautiful down there. When I left Valdosta, I didn't even look in the mirror to watch it go on away. Uh, one place that, out of all the places I've lived with my dad in the Air Force, Valdosta is one place I would never, ever, ever go to live again. I've got a few friends down there I went to school with, went to high school with, but uh, didn't leave anything when I left Valdosta. I can't stand the place. Chrissy. Okay, I will try to remember that. June, you don't want what again? Those bad storms y'all had before? No, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. That was nasty. <laughs> oh, me. You didn't get it up too high, Shane. Yeah, that, that's that's south of all the mist. You probably got clear blue skies down there. Now, I will tell you one thing that's good about close to Valdosta. One of the best places in the world to go freshwater fish. And, you know, if you want to go bass fishing and catch lunker bass, it's no good. But, uh, Shane, do you, or does anybody out there, do you know what a warmouth is? A warmouth fish. W-A-R-M-O-U-T-H. Y'all know what a warmouth is? <coughs> best place. I've ever been to catch warmouth is right down on the Georgia Florida border south of Valdosta at the headwaters of the Swanee River at a place called Billy's Lake. Now you got when you hook one you better get it in the boat fast because you're gonna if you don't you're gonna be fighting an alligator for it. Billy's Lake is full of alligators. But if you like warmouth, okay Shane says he knows what warmouth is. Um Warmouth is a brim on steroids. That's what I. That's how I characterize them. I don't know if they are an actual subspecies of brim. I know they look like a brim, except they're black. And if you look at a brim head on, it's the size of my hand. He's about as thick as my hand. Well. If you look at a warmouth head on that's the size of my hand, he's about as thick as both of my hands. Lots of meat, and the meat is muscle, and for a small fish, because they aren't real big, they're about, they're just like brim. But for a small fish, let me tell you something, those things can put up a fight. Catch them with a cane pole, don't get fancy with your equipment, just a cane pole and some crawfish. But like I say, when you hook one, when your bobber goes under, you better get it in the boat fast because here comes some alligators. But 
I would put in down there two of us in a canoe. And Billy's Lake's a long, skinny lake, probably 1,000 yards long, maybe 150 yards wide. And go out from the boat ramp <coughs> and turn west toward I-75. It narrows down at the end of the lake to a canal 20 feet wide. And that goes all the way to the dam that's the headwaters of the Swanee River. Way down upon the Swanee River, that Swanee River. Um, and you fish your way down that canal about three, four miles and fish your way back up. Every time I've gone to Billy's Lake with one of those big blue coolers, get back to the boat ramp, slam full of water. Put warm mouth in the freezer and eat for a while, and they're good eating, and they are fun, fun, fun to catch. And if I made anybody sick with my singing, I apologize. Well, Mary Grace has her doubles fixed. She posts a comment, it only posts once. <laughs> Yay, Nona. Oh, man. It is starting to rain more here. If it gets any harder, I mean, we're getting close to about time to shut this off anyway. I'm just sitting here blabbering. Um, but uh, if it starts raining harder, it's going to get shut off anyway. Whether it'll get so noisy, y'all tell me in the in the chat. Can y'all even hear me now? Because it's getting noisy. Now, Shane, you're going to show us those pigs tomorrow, but you're still disappointing me, son. We ain't seen a turtle in how to clean it yet. I just realized something. First thing I'm going to do when we can get out of the house and the business can open back up, go get a haircut. Okay, everybody says it's they can hear me. Shane says yes. I don't know if he means yes, he can hear me or yes, he'll get a turtle. Of course, once I see that, once you do the video and I see how to clean a turtle, then I've got the problem of where to go get a turtle because I don't have a pond. That's okay. You show us how to clean it and I'll find the turtle. Now, I noticed on your videos, you show catching turtles in your turtle trap and turning them loose because you say they're the wrong kind of turtle. Yeah, you just want snappers. Those other turtles aren't, aren't good eating or what's the deal with all of them you turn loose? Because you turn loose some fairly decent size. Folks say they can still hear me, but it's getting loud. Maybe this is as hard as the rain will get. I hope so. Okay, Shane, you just want the big snappers, but is that because the other ones aren't any good? Or... I mean, if the other ones are good and you're catching lots of them, The others look like they could be pets. Shane, everything you've got is pets. Your turkey that is in love with you and follows you around. I think you've got a crush on him. Um, 
you treat all those animals like pets. I don't see how you ever slaughter anything. Sideways face. Couldn't figure out what that emoji was, Mary Grace. But folks, it's raining harder and harder. It's getting louder and louder in here. So, uh, and it's been an hour. We've been on for 61 minutes. So, it's probably about time for me to close up shop for this week anyway. And, uh, there's a couple of folks that they're not new. I think everybody here has been here before, but there's one or two that aren't in here a whole lot. So, you know, remind you that if you like the, if you like this video and you'd like to see regular videos, get a recorded video from me as well. Uh, hit that. Well, number one, you give me a thumbs up down at the bottom. I think everybody. No, everybody had me. There's only eight thumbs up with 13 people in here. So a couple of you haven't hit it yet. Give me a thumbs up down there and hit that subscribe button. And uh, once you hit the subscribe button, ring that bell so that you'll get notifications. Shane says every time I do that, it scares him because he's not expecting it. He forgets about it. And uh, I told you all at the start of this video, you're just going to get this twice this time instead of just here at the end since it was Easter. But have, have just awesome days and weeks. And it is super, super, super simple. All you got to do is remember two things. And, and what today's all about. The tomb was empty. I said that and I got a roll of thunder. The tomb was empty. And he is alive. Y'all go have an awesome day. I will see y'all in this video, okay?